if you like our video don't forget to share comment and subscribe and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from peepingmoon.com i didn't really plan it it was not like i had a strategy the only strategy that i had was to keep doing films and roles that are going to force people to take up attention because um, it is a difficult is a big ocean here, out here there are a lot of fishes in here and uh, you need to get the attention of the audience before it's too late and i don't have any other kind of a background to get attention uh, i only have my films so because of that i had only this way to choose the kind of films that i choose so that they don't have no other option than to give me attention so that's what i'm doing you only choose from the option that you get uh, i don't have I mean, it's a weird thing to say, but I don't have an option of going in that, story, you know, larger than life characters. Itti mushkil se to mujhe jodwa jaisi picture milti hai. Forget about Padma or I thought people would probably easily expect me to do a sports woman uh, because I'm myself a sports enthusiast in real life. I play a lot of sports. I have tried my hand at a lot of sports. Nothing like I've been jack of all trades, master of none. So I have. I mean, I play squash regularly in my life. So for me that came very natural. But yes, uh, her breed was not just a regular sports girl because she. This is not a hockey. More than hockey, it's a story. It's a it's a drama about this person's life and how there were people around in his life who changed his life for good or bad. So, uh, so this particular character on field, her body language is different. Her way of talking is different. She's a tigress on field, but off field she's a very mellow, calm. Quiet, shy, coy girl from village. So this kind of was a very interesting mix for me because generally when you say a sportswoman, and me playing a sportswoman, people expect her to be a go getter beyond field, and she'd be this you know roaring tigress beyond field as well. But it was not like that, and that's how Shah Sir wanted me to play. Me when I was hearing the script, when they called me to hear the script, they had only two basic requirements uh, out of. The cast, and that was Punjabi, that background, and a little bit of sports uh, body language. Uh, so yeah, that's why I was selected probably. <laughs> I love sports in general, so I get I have this hunger to learn when uh, beat any sport. And difficult because I never picked hockey stick before I started playing for this film. So first time ever I picked up picked up hockey stick, I realized how important is the role of your left hand. I'm a right-handed person, so for me. For, in hockey, you, with left hand, you have you have to use your left hand strength to take the hockey ahead, to run with it, and all. Right hand is just to change the directions. So it basically is entire strength comes from the left hand, which is pretty weak for people who play with right hand. Because I play all the sports with my right hand, my squash and everything, all the racket sports I play, I play with right hand. So that was a challenge to learn the sport. This was a big problem in learning the sport. So these this, these were the. Difficult and easy part, but I love sports in general. So I was excited every day when I had to go to learn, and Sandeep was teaching me uh, and Dilji. So it couldn't have been been more authentic. Yeah, I love sports. That's so why that's why I I be okay with any character, any sport, and any any character. Uh, I think we have not had a biopic on a racket sport so far with a female. So I would love to do any of any sport. Is okay. For me. We are opposites. We are really opposites. So, uh, so that means I think it's good mix of uh, characters that they had off the screen. I should say. Uh, yeah, I need to talk. Yeah, I think. Um, I, I mean, he is. A, there's nothing right or wrong. You're just one a kind of person, and then you are a different kind of a person. So he's a different kind of a person. Uh, I had. I was the one who was always trying to break the ice. I'll be the one who make the first move to talk, and and selfishly so. So because. I'm not a trained actor, or you know, there's a switch that I'll suddenly switch on and I become a different person, and then I switch off. It doesn't work like that for me. So I need to make sure I'm comfortable with my point, and for that I need to make that move, be the first move to be friends with him or her, and I do that, and it works in my favor, and that's why I do it because otherwise I won't be able to perform. So I used to very shamelessly go and talk to him all the time. I'll keep yapping. I don't know how much he used to listen also or no. And he'd be very, very nicely. He'd keep like nodding, and he's like listening. I don't know how much he understood what I'm talking, but uh, yeah. So I do that for my own selfish reasons, but it helps to perform. Thing to feel insecure about. I think um, I am very. I know. I know my job, and I know 
that uh, how well I can pull off a certain role. And I knew that I'm the heroine in this film. I'm not the hero of this film. And I'm pretty much okay with it because the scenes that I have in the film, I know will be mine. But I know for a matter of fact, when people are work out of the theatre, they'll remember me. And that's all I want out of my films. Har film mein hero nahi ban sakte. You know, so uh, agar main hero ban banne ke piche, if I would be running behind becoming a hero of this film, I wouldn't have gotten a chance to be a part of this wonderful story and play this sports person's role, which I really wanted to do. So, but yeah, but I, I think I have this much of confidence in myself that. Uh, nobody can overshadow me when when I perform. That's my conf confidence I have on my craft and myself. That's okay. Five things are enough. I am not at all. Insecure.